generating QR codes with Python. From restaurant e-menus to airline boarding passes, QR codes have numerous applications that impact your day-to-day -day life and enrich the user's experience, allowing a quick transition between the physical and online world. Wouldn't it be great to make them look good too? With the help of this course, you'll learn how to use Python to generate beautiful QR codes for your use case. In its most basic format, a QR code contains black squares and dots on a white background with information that any smartphone or device with a dedicated QR scanner can decode. Unlike a traditional barcode which holds information horizontally, a QR code holds the data in two dimensions and it can hold over 100 times more information. In this course, you'll learn how to generate a basic black and white QR code, change the size and margins of the QR code, create colourful QR codes, rotate the QR code, save in multiple different formats, investigate other information and data storage options, and replace the static background with an image. Traditionally, QR codes have been predominantly black and white, but now, thanks to creative innovations, they come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colours. If you'd like to learn how to create not only two-tone QR codes, but colourful and artistic ones, then this is the course for you. So now you know what's going to be covered, let's get started. Using Python to generate a basic QR code. To begin with, you're going to create a black and white QR code that encodes some content. To follow along with this course, you'll need to install Senyo, which is a popular Python library for generating QR codes. To install it, it's good practice to create a virtual environment and install Senyo into it using pip from the command line. On screen, you can see the commands you'll need on macOS or Linux. And here's what you'd need on Windows using Windows Terminal. Once you've installed Senyo, create a Python file named basicqrcode.py. To create a black and white QR code object that encodes some content, you'll have to use the makeQR function. This ensures that you're creating a full-size QR code, and the only mandatory argument you'll need to pass is the information that you want to encode. Note that you can also use the make function to create a QR code object, but depending on the content you're encoding, it might create a micro QR code. You'll be looking at this later on in the course, so for the time being, stick with using makeQR. QR codes are capable of handling a wide range of data such as alphanumeric characters, symbols, and even URLs. To begin your journey of generating QR codes in Python, you'll start by creating one that will encode the text, Hello World. First, you import Senyo. You store the encoded content as a variable and use the save method to save the QR code as an image. The save method serializes the QR code into a file format of your choice, as long as that format is supported. When you apply save to the variable you've created with the encoded content, you need to specify the file name including an optional file path. In this example, you're saving the QR code image as a file named basicqrcode.png in the same directory where you'll be executing your code so you don't specify a file path. Once you've finished and saved the code in basicqrcode.py, you'll need to run the Python script from the command line as seen. If you look in the directory where the script is stored, you should now see a file named basicqrcode and opening it should show the image. You may be able to do this from the command line as seen on screen. You can now scan this with a phone camera. Most camera apps have a built-in QR code reader and should alert you to the presence of the information contained within. 
One thing you may have noticed with the code you've generated so far is that it can be a little difficult to view or read because of its size, which is pretty small. So in the next section of the course, you'll take a look at how you can change the size of the QR codes that you're generating. Changing the size of the QR code. To adjust the size of the QR code, you can add a scale parameter to the save method. The scale parameter is a scaling factor that changes the width and height of the QR code image. The default value is one, and when you created your first code, the size of each black or white square in the QR code was one pixel wide and one pixel high. Each of these black or white squares is called a module. With the changes being made to the code on screen, you can create a QR code that encodes the same content, but where each module is five by five pixels inside. In addition to the file name, the scale argument is set, changing each module to five pixels instead of the default of one. With this file saved, it's run from the command line in the same way as the previous example. On screen, you can see the original and scaled QR codes. Try scanning them with your phone camera to see if there's a difference in the response speed. Because the QR code is presented on a white background here, it's not possible to see the blank space around it. But it is there, as you can see when it's placed on a non-white background. Senyu allows the adjustment of this blank space, so let's take a look at that next. To increase the scannability of the QR code and make sure that devices such as smartphones can clearly access the information, Senyo put some blank space around the QR code. This blank space is referred to as the quiet zone. You also have the option of modifying the size of this quiet zone by making changes to the border parameter within the save method. You set the size of the margin around the code by specifying an integer value to the border argument. By default, the size of the quiet zone is four modules on each side. Once more, the file name is changed to allow comparison of codes, and then the important addition of the border argument. Here it's set to zero to remove the quiet zone from the outside of the code. Once again, you'll need to run the script to generate the new QR code. For comparison, on screen you can see the two previous QR codes on the same scale, one with the default border and one with the border set to zero. And just like that, you've removed the quiet zone from the QR code. Try scanning the image and see if this has changed the response speed. If you want to increase the size of the quiet zone and create a wider border for the QR code, you can do it by increasing the value of border. Here, setting it to 10 makes for a wider quiet zone and easier reading by devices. While it's of course possible to create a quiet zone in the software used to create a flyer, poster or other physical medium, adding it into the QR code can avoid issues with designers leaving no quiet space around the code and making recognition more difficult for the end user. Once more, running the script will generate the QR code. The three versions with different quiet zones, 0, 4 and 10 modules are seen on screen. So far the QR codes have all been generated with the default colours of black on white. But Senyo allows control of the colours used to make up the QR code and in the next section of the course you'll see how you can change the colour of the background, the quiet zone and the data modules. Changing the colours of the QR code. If you'd like to create QR codes with your favorite colors, then the save method has optional parameters that you can add to make your codes more colorful. In this section, you'll modify the color of the background, the quiet zone, and the light and dark modules of your QR codes. All you have to do is specify the keyword and a color of choice. You can use the RGB format, the name of the color, or a hexadecimal value. As an example, if you want to change the color of the background to light blue, then you can use the code seen on screen. Here you can see the addition of the light argument, which is set to light blue. The background of the code will now be light blue rather than the default of white. 
Running the code will generate the QR code which is seen on screen. You could also replace the colour name with the RGB or hexadecimal format colour. The three lines seen on screen are all equivalent to each other. The full list of named colours supported by Senyo is available at the link seen on screen. You can also change the colours of all the black modules of the QR code. To do this, pass the colour of your choice to the dark parameter in the save method. The code on screen will change the colours of the dark modules to dark blue. Running this code will generate the QR code seen on screen. Once more, the quiet zone isn't as visible because the background colour is white. But it is possible to change the quiet zone colour independently of the light colour. This is done by adding a quiet zone parameter in the save method. On screen is an example of additions to the previous code to change the colour of the space around the QR code from white to light grey. Predictably, running this code will generate the QR code that you can see on screen now. As you may know, some image formats support transparency, allowing some or all elements of an image to be semi or fully transparent. Providing you're creating an image format which supports this, then Senyo allows creation of transparent codes. While you'll need to be careful with this feature, balancing artistic control with readability, it is easy to implement. The format for the colours when using transparency needs to be in hexadecimal mode. As you saw previously, six character hexadecimal colours specify red, green and blue. Eight character hexadecimal colours add another alpha value which specifies the transparency of the colour. Here the dark is still dark blue but with some transparency set to CC. Light is still set to a very light blue with a transparency of CC as well. The quiet zone is set to the hexadecimal equivalent of light grey but with a more transparent value of 77. This may not be apparent on a plain background but you can see it when placed over a background on screen with the non-transparent version for comparison. So far you've used the light and dark parameters to change the colour of all the white and black modules of the QR code. But not all of the modules in the QR code house the data that's encoded. Some of the modules are present to allow a code to be recognised and scanned accurately. So in the next section of the course you'll see how you can fine tune the colouring of the QR code information.